Uh, yeah, I, I was very excited by the play and I sort of knew what the play was going to be in terms of its form before I got it. Linda was late in delivering her play, uh, but I felt quite relaxed about it because I knew the form she was writing in. Uh, and it's something I find really interesting. I think it's a really interesting way to produce a text. Um, and I think also a lot of, uh, a lot of verbatim theatre uh, at the moment is issue-based. Uh, you get verbatim projects about uh, the Iraq war or what's going on in Afghanistan. Uh, and I think it's quite unusual to do a verbatim project that's about such a, an elusive uh, concept as this uh, and, and isn't driven by an issue. Um, it, it's more reflective than that. Yeah, it's quite daunting when you just get blocks of text like that. But I think that part of your uh, job as a director is, is just organising things and breaking it down. Uh, and I think with Linda, the, the first draft that came through had very little indication of, of who was saying what. Uh, and I thought that the way to deal with it was uh, to make it character driven. So the first thing I wanted to know of Linda was, well, who are the individual characters? Uh, and then I did a version of the script, uh, which was actually each of the characters all there, uh, speeches listed together, so you get a sense of who that one person is. Um, and that's the way we worked with the actors this morning, act, working with each actor individually, uh, working on each character individually. Uh, so, so again, it's just giving some shape through the piece that it's the same voice that's coming up again and again. Uh, and, and quite often the that person's thought processes are reflected several times through the piece. So, it's, so I think it's just a case of uh, breaking the text down and organising it. And, and the difference with this play is uh, it's a sort of different method that you need to do to break it down. But for, for me, that sort of organising uh, it, it appeals to me. I actually quite like it and I enjoy it. I'm not daunted by it. I think the actors, I think the actors have really, really embraced it actually. I think that that's what's been the most enjoyable part for me today is uh, to see each of those four actors. They've clearly all been working on this on their own and you know what they brought into the room is, is what I've been working with. It's a lovely cast. Yeah, 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 they're great. Uh, I'm not sure it is a process actually. Uh, it's, it's very instinctive. Um, the the spread of these 18 characters, uh, you know, a few young people, a few middle-aged people, a few older people, uh, that Linda wanted to get a balance in the cast. She wanted uh, two younger actors, uh, a sort of middle actor and an older actor. Um, so, yeah, um, we knew we had Meg, because I think that Meg was involved in as many of the plays as possible. So we sort of built the, built the cast around Meg. Uh, and I know that Linda had Meg in mind when she was actually uh, editing uh, these interviews. Uh, James I've worked with before in a reading, so I knew he was around. And because he has an English accent, then that sort of seemed nice to get a bit more of a mix in. Uh, Nalini I've not worked with before, but I've been aware of her, uh, and I thought she'd bring something different into the mix, uh, and, and Gary. So I think it's a nice range of uh, ages. I suppose it's not a nice range of sexes. There's two of each. Uh, but I think they all have very individual qualities that they bring to it. But I think as a group, they sort of work together, which is nice. I mean, a lot of the work that I've done has started off from 
uh, non-dramatic material. I've done work that is uh, adaptations of novels, adaptations of biography. Uh, yeah, I think it's quite interesting to just have a pile of material and edit through it and, and find what's dramatic in that. I think often when you work with a, a dramatist, they they do so much of the work for you that actually your job is then just sort of delivering something. And I'm much more interested in sort of getting into it and doing a bit more of that work myself. Yeah, I'm really interested in, in the crossover aspect of it. I'm sort of not interested really in making a movie, but the crossover aspect of it I'm really interested in. I've used a lot of video uh, in a lot of the theatre shows that I've made myself. Uh, I'm really interested. I've, I've worked with an American company called the Builders Association who use a lot of live video uh, in their work. Uh, I'm really aware of the Worcester Group in America. They use a lot of uh, live video. So actually having like a bunch of cameras and a bunch of cameramen and sound people in the rehearsal room uh, seems normal to me. I, I don't feel that that's any sort of intrusion. I've, I've been in lots of rehearsal rooms where there have been lots of cameras and uh, uh, film people around as, as collaborators, so I'm completely comfortable in that environment. Great. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's a very enjoyable day, thank you. Yeah, it was good. Yeah.